this video tutorial will be on Ad Creator Easy to Find Location. This is the page. I'll leave a link in the description as well. Um, I currently own the support me version. <sighs> and um, that gives you a little bit more to do um, work with. But I'm going to go over the parts of it that I use using my Model Zep. So I'm just going to delete everything in here. So, for Koyomi Dissolve and stuff like that, make sure your model has all the materials done. So, I'm gonna start off with just the basic. One, two, three. There. Okay. So, get your Avatar Descriptor, put it on there, do all that. If you don't know how to do that, I'm pretty sure I have a video on it. It's this right here. Uh, click autofill and then click on this avatar directory bar that is blank right here. Then uh, click on the models folder, go through for now or your animation folder. And then click it so it'll pop up here. Then click so these three things and then your quick toggle creator um, I'm gonna go over a couple things um, let's open this let's just do I'm gonna do all of these right here all her accessories um, you right click and you can just see what it just pops up right here you do quick quick toggle creator and then they'll all pop up um, here. Uh, and this is the delete one after you highlight it. Multi toggle lets you add a game object so you can toggle more than one thing on and off. You can do shoe swap this way. So, for an example, shoe one is here, shoe two is here. Turn this off, turn this on. And it'll make it a shoe swap so that whenever you turn this off, it'll turn the other one on. Um, you can rename things by clicking and clicking enter. You can auto detect your right default. You, I always do overwrite. Custom menu name lets you pick what you want to be. So if I want to name it accessories. Um, disable credits really just disables the, the credits. That's about it. Um, I don't mess with any of this. Um, this will create your animation. You can put default bunch of buttons and do the right clipping. I'll change between expressions or hands. You prioritize it and use the gestures, not only the left hand. Um, this clean video is so if I click on this as an inspector, so I didn't want to create this for the toggles. And then I go in here, it'll show you the renderings are sitting here. So if I'm, I delete the horns in my FX, which is in So if I delete these right here, it's okay. um, it'll it's become okay. unused, and then it'll delete like this using um, I think I've used this once or twice. You can just drag the mesh in. This is support or only, so it's the twenty dollar one. So. Yeah, and then it will add what material it is. This is material one. So this is the one I want. You can name it whatever here. Select what menu it goes into here. Um, and then it will generate the hue shift. You can add more than one thing. You can add more than one thing with the shift. I'm not going to do that right now. This just organizes all your stuff, and that's just more info on creator. Um, so 
that's basically all you get in the uh, normal version. It's just a quick poly creator and like some quick preset creator, uh, quick options. Obviously, the auto key shift is for twenty dollar one, so. Uh, but now the advanced one is basically the same just make sure you autofill and select your output directory like we did before click that box 3.0 select order so I'll make this one and close so this will create a new menu so that it doesn't just add on to the other one from before and this will add the menu to your main menu so if I don't click that it won't add the menu to your model and I'll have to do it manually um, this just pings the folder we don't really need to do that it doesn't matter advanced settings create effects layers you want to do that or else you're gonna have to go and do ease um, create parameters is the thing that I showed you before ignore dissolve settings I don't recommend sync and menu um, makes it so that everything that's toggled on and off is synced now and then it's all synced to the world. Uh, clear all will clear all the toggles listed here. Add, you can add, enter a toggle name, so like, uh, blah blah. It'll make that the parameter one. If I have a whole bunch of toggles here, like this, and I only want to delete these, I can select them using the box key, and then I can click clear selected and get rid of them. Um, you want to click save. Um, you can add icons if you select the icons. Put it one. And your modules, your simple toggle, you click add, will be the default on off toggle. Your change material, you click add, will make you drop in the source. So let's uh, put in leg warmers. Materials, warmers. I always click this plus right here so it went up here. And now it's gonna ask me what I wanna change it to. So if I wanna change it to this metal shader, drag that in right here. Um, and that's how to do that one. You can remove that now. When shape add, this is basically so pants on. You could add this to like one of your toggles, so it's like a pants swap. You would add this on top of it because you could add more parameter, like add module, simple toggle. Now you got both of them. So you can always have more than one. Um, basically, you'd open this. And so, let's say I want heels. There we go. So, default. Is that it'll be at when you drop the model into a world. So if you want the, you have a skirt on like my model does first, it'll be zero, and then toggle it would be a hundred, so that when it gets the pants get toggled on, it would change the lens shapes then, and then when it gets toggled off, then the lens shape would go down. Um, and then the boil me dissolve, I don't do it here because it's goofy. So. As I go over here, like my nicotine, so I'm sitting here, eyes locked on the ceiling. I thought we'd be a match, but the perfect flame is just searing. It's unbelievable. Don't want to attach, but I do it again. And the time that we have was a thing that I miss. Only thing I've left is the one thing you left. So, if I'm still doing like all my toggles or whatever, I make sure not to lock them. I'll show you that in a second. So, right click, I've created my toggle, new toggle, and we dissolve. So, that's what I'm taking. Second, it might like Unity, depending on how you click. Now, over here, same thing, change it here, click on it, click that tool, click on it, 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 Okay, so all this does is set up the frame for you, so it'll dissolve everything on it, basically does it for you, adds everything. Um, so when you're able to create toggles, you can also do you want to create your toggles, you say yes. Now it's gonna ask you this now. If you are, this is like the only toggles you're doing that are frame dissolved, because remember, it's gonna do it in one menu. Mm -hmm. 
I click no because then I can choose the rest of them or else you're gonna have to unlock your materials. So I'm gonna say no. No, my mats are not gonna be locked. And for your point of view, it just all to work. All of your materials will be set to Koyomi literary version and then cut out. I don't know why. A pick does not work. It has to be cut out. Then you're good. Um, that's basically all I've created us. So yeah.